Aya, Terhi here again. I'm up on Hip Good Job blog today with a mixed media Monday together with some other DT members. And I want to show you what I did with October color kit. There was two watercolors included uh, from Shimmers and also a little mist from Shimmer, Shimmers. And I decided to make some fun blue and gold uh, leaves with the watercolors. I will skip the mist this time and I will use these lovely lovely shimmering watercolors. Oopsie, uh, I almost dropped it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, uh, this darker one is, I don't remember which was the right name, but it was really dark blue, almost black. So it goes really well with the Dear Lizzie Stargazer paper we had in Paper Kit. So I'm just uh, spritzing some water on top of these watercolors to activate it. And then I'm going to paint the cut files I cut with my silhouette machine. This point is good to see, okay, which side should I use for this? Of course, I can paint the both sides, sides because painting is so much fun. Uh, yeah, so uh, these cut files are also from HipKitLab. They are exclusives um, and available for all HipKitLab members. If you don't know if you are a member or not, the simple rule for that is that if you are a subscriber, then you have an access for all the cut files. And I mean all the cut files, there are so many from many many years and all the news of course. So I'm painting all the leaves like this and okay, here comes a little <laughs> trickier part. Uh, I opened the golden watercolor and see how beautiful hole there was. It's amazing, it's like there was a storm or something and it has passed. Okay. I'm going to mess with my little little hole in my watercolor. It's so beautiful. I I almost didn't use this one at all because it was so beautiful. Okay. Anyway, back to the layout. Uh, I'm flinging this cold um, watercolor here and there, and I don't want to paint this because the blue watercolor is still a bit wet, and I want to make a little drops of gold here and there, not too much, but some. It makes this nice vibrant look for the leaves. And as I'm using the biggest one, I think this will be just a piece for practice, because um, I got uh, several sizes, I think I got five of the leaves, and I probably use less. But I like to try things, like here I didn't uh, paint the leaf too darkly. I used a lot of water and now I want to see how it looks if I use a lot of more. And if I do it this way or that way or that way. So it's nice to try new things. The watercolor will spread around quite a lot while it's drying, so you don't have to mind that if you see some really dark spots right now, it will spread around. Uh, my trick is to leave this drying on top of baby wipe, because then the baby wipe will keep quite a long uh, wet, and while it's wet, the paper will get uh, dry quicker, and then you don't have to worry about if if it going to stick to the surface you have your little paper on, because if you leave it on your work table, it probably will leave there, or on top of paper towel. If you have tried watercolors, you know what I mean. Yeah, so uh, these next leaves I will use a much, much darker uh, watercolors. In another ways, I'm going to use it more dry, not that much water, um, really much, much, much of the color pigment to 
make sure the leaves are really really dark at this point and then I'm going to let them dry for a little while and then I'm adding a flicks of the golden mist and maybe some flicks of the, this uh, blue mist as well. Uh, at this point I, I realized that okay my table is covered with this lovely blue watercolor I don't need to paint these I will just uh, put them against the table and that's it I don't need to paint them at all of course I added a little bit more because I want to reach the dark blue thing I added before to, to other leaves too but no need to waste any watercolors, otherwise I would use some kind of paper towel to clean up the table and uh, yeah, it's much better to do it this way. If you have some leftover and you can use it, just use it. So, uh, when the, um, that layer was dry, I decided to make it that I first adhere the cut, cut files on top of the patterned papers and I'm going with the old school style not with double sided tape or nothing like that I'm going to use glue and then just glue these leaves on top of these patterned papers sometimes I find this really tricky if you have really small cut files and your fingers are all in glue but then again that's something I really love to because that's like real crafting if you have some paint or glue in your fingers you know that you have been having fun <laughs> and that's always nice so uh, I'm going to repeat the flicking process and painting process now I saw that the leaves that I painted with the leftovers from the table they weren't enough blue so I'm adding now some blue and then I'm going to also flick some blue, blue drops here and there all over the leaves. The way that there is few drops of watercolor on the patterned paper too so it will match more perfectly. And then I'm going to add some golden, golden uh, drops too, because it will look so nice. And this uh, time I decided to um, go with three leaves on the background. Um, as I'm using this really dark blue, blue mixed media thing, I want to make sure that on my layout I have a lot of white going on still. And that's why I decided not to use all five because it will cover like the whole layout, I think, even though I would layer the leaves. So I decided to put just three leaves and then few photographs and that's it. Leave enough space for, you know, breathing. Leave some air. The biggest leaf is too big, so I'm picking up these three. Uh, and I'm using photographs of myself. Uh, there was a lovely fall day a couple months ago. Uh, we were outside and my husband takes some pictures of me, which surprisingly were good, uh, even though I don't like being photographed that much right now don't know why but I'm really happy that he took some photos because it's important to scrap yourself too. Probably we all have a lot of pictures of our children and our pets and our husbands and our, our wives and everything around us but not ourselves. So I think it's important to have some kind of record that you have been there too, you have lived a life and you have been beautiful, even. So, I'm doing a little frames of the same pattern, pattern of paper that the leaves were. And 
this will be the main design for the page. It will be good this way, but of course I will use a lot of embellishments and a lot of paper layers to make sure that there's a lot of things going on. And as we have this lovely uh, rubber stickers, is that the right word? Uh, anyway, from Prima Marketing, I decided to make a title from these. Other says hello fall and other says fall is here or something like that. I don't mind what they say, but they are looking so pretty and as they are totally black, they will match perfectly for the layout. And now I'm using my own leftover pieces from the October hip kits. I have used papers and embellishments so much this month, they are so perfect. And so I'm very surprised that I have so many fall themed pictures, but then again I live in Finland, so it's all grey and, and wet here, almost fall all over the year. So anyway, I'm not going into there because I would talk about how miserable life is in Finland, but I guess you don't want to hear it. So I'm layering this piece together. Uh, I'm not doing the exactly the same for the... Okay, now something happened. My dog came and pushed my camera and my lights. So sorry about this mess. It took a little while to make it perfect again, but ooh, you know, in family with the dogs and the kids, something always happens, but I don't mind. But as I was saying, I didn't make the paper, uh, paper layers um, totally similar for the both of the pictures. I want them to be a little different. Um, it will give some more... Hmm, it will look better that way. If they both are exactly the same, it wouldn't be that crafty, probably. So I decided to make them separately. And I'm going to use this thin 3D foam to ad adhere these leaves because I want to have some, uh, of course, thickness and layers on my page. But also I want to have a little shadow behind the leaves because there are two paper layers on the leaves and I want to use that. I want to show that, that, that they are thick leaves, they are not like just cut it from the paper. I want to almost scream that look at these leaves, they are pretty mixed media leaves, they are not normal. Okay, so you probably get it. I want to show the leaves. So I added some thread behind the photos and adhered the photos on top of the leaves. I struggle a little bit with the third leaf, how to set it, but I think it looks better going upwards the paper than going down. So I added like this. And it's much better this way. Yeah. So all I have left is, of course, this thread, which I'm going to use glue with because there are thick layers and I don't want anything to drop off. So I'm using glue and the 3D foam. And now you're thinking, no, that much. But yeah, sometimes it needs that much. Yeah, it just happens. But better to do it this way. So now I have left the decorating part, which I'm starting with the mist. This is from Altenu and it's turquoise mist. I think it was a turquoise or ocean waves or something like that, but meaning turquoise anyway. And I got it off from Pink Fresh Studio embellishment some. There were stack embellishments in the embellishments kit, uh, but I cut some parts of the tags. I, don't, I didn't want to use tags for this layout, but I wanted to use the uh, words, so I got them out. I'm also going to use this sweet stitch heart from the 
Pink Press Studio. They are also really beautiful and nice and I wanted to use them as well as these blue stars. And after recording this video I decided to add some little text stickers here and there from Pretty Little Studio. But they are not that visible but I, do, I wanted to add them anyway. But the stars and the hearts are the most important part. So here it is. I think it's beautiful. And yeah. Here you can see actually how the leaves are looking now and I think they are looking good. The watercolor always does the effect of um, having the drops visible and that's what I really like it. Watercolors are probably one of my favorite mixed media part. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again. Bye!